Eight News is taking action tonight with new developments in the case of a Virginia law enforcement officer accused of murdering three people out in California. You're watching Eight News at six. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips, Virginia State Police, Washington County, and the Washington County Sheriff's Office could be facing civil lawsuits over his hiring. Eight News reporter Olivia Jake with his live and the Digital Center. And Olivia, what can you tell us on this tonight? Well, Eric Dana, the Washington County Board of Supervisors chairman tells me they got that notice in April, but it didn't include specifics about what damages the family members would be seeking. However, according to the LA Times, it could be more than $100 million. The surviving members of a family murdered by a Virginia law enforcement officer seeking legal action. It was coming, I just didn't know when. The case of a former Virginia State Police trooper turned Washington County Sheriff's deputy garnering national attention after he murdered three members of the Winneck family the day after Thanksgiving. Police say Austin Edwards engaged in a deceptive online relationship with a teen girl in the family before traveling thousands of miles from Virginia to California and killing her mother and grandparents. Edwards killed himself using his service issued gun during a shootout with deputies. Now living relatives are planning to sue. In Virginia, there is a statute that says if you're going to be pursuing uh, civilly state agencies or local agencies like the sheriff's department or the state police, that you have to file a notice first. 8 News legal analyst Russ Stone says any civil litigation would be separate from the criminal investigation, which is still ongoing. You have to connect the dots to show how, you know, if there was a failure in the hiring, a negligence in the hiring, how did that actually cause the death? But former state police captain Dr. Frank Whitehurst says Edwards' training as a trooper did help him commit these crimes. The troopers are trained to take command, use command voice. He went through 29 weeks of training, which probably put him in the best physical shape he's ever been in. And all those things just add up to given someone success to commit a, a criminal act. This after an external investigation into Virginia State Police's hiring practices revealed only human error as the reason for Edwards' hiring, despite records of a violent past and psychiatric issues. But Governor Glenn Youngkin says that error does not mean the agency as a whole should be condemned. I am satisfied with what's happened. I am satisfied with the changes that have that have been undertaken. Now, the sheriff's office has not responded to our request for comment, but the Board of Supervisors is set to discuss the matter during its meeting on Tuesday. For now, live in the Digital Center, Olivia Jake with 8 News.